Hello there, ladies and gents, and as I, Mr. Emo Raccoon, and welcome back to our Grand Theft Auto 4 playthrough. And on today's part, we've got some missions that we need to take care of in order to get to the next big decision of Grand Theft Auto 4. So, on the last episode, we ended up finally, after like three or four episodes, finally getting to the point option where we can kill Playboy or Dwayne. We chose to kill Playboy because, you know, Playboy's kind of a kind of a kind of a terrible person. Well, at least in the way that I see him. But as a reward for that, we got his penthouse and I'm not gonna lie, check it out. It, look, it looks pretty nice, man. Uh, definitely on the smaller side. I uh, don't know why Nico has a collection of dishes here that he just refuses to... Well, actually, is this our sink? Wait, am I just blind or is that two, like, two holes for a sink? Maybe it's the way the light reflects, but like that is that is one weird looking sink. Like, I don't know, maybe that was just a 2008 thing, but that's a weird looking sink. But anyway, on top of getting Playboy's penthouse, of course, we also unlocked the Claude outfit. It's not a one-to-one -one replica of the one from GTA 4. I mean, GTA 4, from GTA 3. I mean, the pants do look pretty similar, but the leather jacket, you know, it, it could look a lot better, in my opinion, of course. But anyway, so like I said today, we're going to be worrying about getting ourselves some more of the missions done to get up to the next big choice. I don't know if we'll make it in this episode, but we should be able to theoretically. And that choice is going to be killing off one of two of the McCreary brothers that the game is going to make us kill. And that's the choice between Derek or Francis. And I thought a lot about it uh, since the video I uploaded yesterday. And I'm not going to spoil my choice this early into the video. But I think I know who I'm gonna take out. But I'm gonna leave it as a surprise for you guys. So if you're seeing if you're seeing this right now, type a comment. Let me know which one you think I ended up, you know, actually taking out before I even take them out. And if you're right, well, you don't get anything because it's YouTube comments, but you get the point. Maybe, maybe we'll see if you're right. How about that? Anyway, so in order to get to where we need to go, we need to start worrying about some of these other missions, and we're gonna worry about Derek's next mission. And if I'm if I'm right on this mission, this one's probably gonna be a little difficult. But We'll talk more about it when we get there. All right then, Derek, what's this job you got for us today? Babysitting? Oh, I remember this one. Get in a boat, me boy. Get a skip of this little vessel. <laughs> yeah. Get out at sea. This is the place. With a little bit of boat exploration. Good for us. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden. We all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago, then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him and Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. But what I hear, Aiden still rants about me. To anyone who listened. Yeah, I believe that, but Derek, I'm pretty sure you did talk. Just saying. You Parks boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. All right then, we gotta follow Kim back through the city and protect them. Another immigrant arriving in this city, trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the Lord. What the fuck is this? I think I gotta go! Use our boat to steal Tim from these fuckers. I don't give a shit if this thing sick. We gotta protect him. I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow and die for those notes. Got him. Let's get these guys.
Then they're sending the fucking airborne cavalry after us as well. Good thing we got a rocket launcher with us. We've got the what? A rocket launcher. It's in the back. Get rid of that chopper with it. I'll drive the boat. Fuck, man. This chopper needs to stay still for a second so I can hit it. <laughs> uh, Nico? <laughs> can you get in the boat, please? Thank you. Alright, let's go, Kim. Taking out choppers with RPGs in this game is a lot different than it was in GTA 5. I don't know. I told my dealer I was good for the money. I owed from as well. Just say anything for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fate. You sound like my mother. <laughs> you sound like my mother. Wow. After hearing the McCurry's mother, yeah, I believe that for a second. But I was saying that RPGs in this game are a lot different than they are in GTA 5, just because in this game, the rockets can actually ricochet depending on what they're trying to hit. It's also not as simple as trying to aim up at the chopper blades to hit them, because that's just something you can do in GTA 5 anyway. But like I said, the rockets in this game don't instantly impact on most objects. They have a very high likelihood of ricocheting. They can fly in a different direction rather than straight how they do. Um, they're honestly just a lot more fun to use in this game, but they're not as like the every weapon like they are in GTA 5. And I can appreciate that. Hopefully in GTA 6, they'll make them a little bit more balanced. Hopefully. Uh, got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. <laughs> Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. Yeah, well, hey, you say that too much, you'll end up, uh... ODing yourself. But be careful, Derek. Be careful. I must get one of those tree shaped air fresheners if I'm going to be ferrying around dirt bags like you. <laughs> Thanks, Mohammed, man. I appreciate it. All right, Derek. What's the situation right, today? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism. Full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. Mm, uh, we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. Is he now? Uh, maybe this is our time. Put all scrap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Dad. We'll see to it, Derek. You and me. The same. I don't know about that, Derek. The same. The, the same. We're close, We're but we ain't that close. Same. You know what I'm saying? All right, then. Now, we gotta go over someplace. But, uh, Packy? I need a phone call from you, son. Where am I supposed to go? Brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection What's than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it. What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're going to get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm going to come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. Alright, fine. We'll pick up this truck and give you a call, Backy. 
this magic this truck with a rocket zone. launcher in it, you know, this ginormous, like, no, big thing that we need. In here. This ginormous thing. Thank you, Mr. Taxi Driver. Have a good day, sir. All right. Now, where would you put a rocket launcher in this type of truck? You surely wouldn't put it up there with all the gravel, would you? I don't think that you would, route. personally, but that's just me. All right, I've got the truck. When we have them blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great. They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. All right then, Nico. We gotta pedal to the metal and get to that booth tunnel. Recalculating route. Recalculating route. Oh, I will proceed to highlighted route. Don't you worry, GPS. I'm on my way. In 100 yards, turn left, then immediately left. All right, if I've arrived so well then, let's block this road off. We got to stop a convoy, and I'm pretty sure no cop is going to want to come through this big-ass industrial I'm in position, truck. Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Yeah, Mitch, come on. Find out what Mr. Nico Bellic is up to. Hey, buddy, we're gonna need you to move this thing. Gotta yeah, take out the noose guys first. They're the ones with the armor that can uh, mess Nico up if I'm not careful. All right, here, hop back. I need some ammo from that uh, SMG here. Right in the face. Reloading the Deagle. Got him. That guy's dead. I am clearing it, Packy. You're the guy who's not doing a whole lot of work with your shotgun. Oh, will you handle the prisoner? Well, I got to handle on some uh, ammo because, you know, this type of ammo is expensive. There are the fucking cops. Get rid of this attention, Nico. We don't want anyone after us while we're doing what we got to do. Doing what we got to do. That's a very interesting way to put it. Excuse me. Pardon me. Watch out, NPCs. Nico's coming through. Are you serious? I can't get through because there's an NPC in the way. Are you actually kidding me right now? Ugh. Move! My truck is much, much bigger than yours. My truck is much, much bigger than yours. Get out of the fucking way! You're not taking nobody down, because I'm going to power through you. Get out of the fucking way. Jesus, man. All I did was kill like two dozen of your fucking platoon back there and steal a prisoner. I'm not that dangerous. Leave me alone. They act like I just went into a candy shop and took candy off of a baby or something. Like, no, I didn't. Leave me alone. 
We need to lose this van, Packy. The cops will be looking for it. Very clearly, they'll be looking for it. Finally, man. Fucking lost them. Like, I don't know why. It was just so difficult to lose them this time. Like, I was going to make a joke out of, like, it being difficult just like it was the last time I had to lose a three-star wanted level. Like, every turn I took, there was just three more cops on every, like, you know, available, like, four-way intersection. Like, take this, for example. If I wanted to go straight, because there was two cops on this side, just magically there'd be another one straight up the road. So I couldn't outrun them. That took, like, an extra two minutes just to outrun them for no reason, just because they wanted to keep spawning in front of me. And it was so annoying. But I guess we lost them now, so I guess it's better than nothing. I don't know, though. Some people might not agree with me on that. Taking ourselves a right turn through a fence. Excuse me, sir. Can you get out of the fucking way? Thank you. Through the impenetrable fence into the yellow checkpoint. Great. We've got some transport. Get in that vehicle, prisoner. We've got rid of the unwanted attention. Now it's time for business. Get us to the cliffs in Leftwood. Get him to the cliffs in Led... In t oh, there's Packy. I was like, where the fuck did he go? <laughs> Packy didn't want to get in the car, apparently, and then he was like, you know what? Fine, I'll get in. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right. Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit, I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Packy. Was he really that loud and obnoxious just, you know, just speaking for the sake of speaking? I don't think he was, personally. Then again, that is just my opinion, and my opinion's generally wrong. Excuse me, sir. I don't think he was that annoying. I mean, like, yeah, maybe just to get him to shut up, because, I mean, Packy's just doing this to get paid. So is Nico. But, I mean, it wasn't that bad, was it? At least, I don't think so. All right, Aiden, welcome to your final resting place. Ouch come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. See? He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless. So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. <laughs> I'm surprised that Aiden actually doesn't even have an execution, because if he had an execution... Why? Why? Why in God's name? Why? I was going to say, it's surprising that he doesn't have an execution himself, but... Ah! Well, unless you count that being an execution. But I meant like a full-blown scripted one, and Packy's just gone. Of course he is. And now Nico's got to make the entire hike all the way back to the main road to get a car. Thanks, Pack. Uh, thanks, Packy. I appreciate it. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. <sighs> I hope there's good luck for Derek, but I'm not hopeful for it, personally. I mean, just saying, once a junkie, always a junkie. I got a text message from Francis. Let's take a gander at that. Let me look at it. <laughs> I need you. Meet me on Castle Drive, Francis. All right, then. What happens if I call dear old Francis? Probably nothing, right? This is Francis. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, then. Fine. I'll go meet you if I make you feel better about yourself. Enjoy your shitty freeloading life. 
Thanks, Mob, and I appreciate it, man. All right. Francis? Where you at, man? Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! We'll tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Ah, go fuck yourself, Francis. Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm Francis McCreary. I am a well-meaning good cop who deserves to be the commissioner of police. No, you don't. You're not any better than any of the other McCreary's. Like, yeah, Derek may not be a good person because he's nothing more than a junkie, but you're a complete Eddie. fucking asshole. Sorry about the smell. I just laid Nico, some gas in thanks, here. fuck you, Anson. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. All right then. Now, like I mentioned in the last episode, and even at the start of this one, I can't get you any closer than this. Understandable, no problem. But anyway, let's make the phone call. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. You got a but this is probably the hardest choice in the game. For some people who have morals, I'll say that much. Now, if you want an easy answer on which is the better option, kill Fran or, uh, kill Derek just because Francis gives you more benefits and money if you really care about stuff like that. But in terms of morals, it's really hard because it's either kill the corrupt asshole cop who thinks he's better than everybody or kill the junkie who ratted out his own family. Like, while the game, you know, it's not necessarily proven, it's highly suggested that Derek ratted out Jerry and put him behind bars so he wouldn't have to go to prison. But that was never proven. So this is a really hard choice. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've gotta say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Alright then, take out Derek or Francis when ready. 
Well, I want to show you something at least. Now, if you're one of the people that are seeing this and you don't care about morals, but you want Francis' approval, do this before you take him out. Just a second here, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? Yes or no, but yes. That might help. All right, then. Call it a bonus. Make this happen. Now, of course, if you want to care about the morality spectrum, you would normally hit no and then just, you know, kill Francis anyway. But, although Derek is someone who snitched and put his own brother behind bars, I think killing the corrupt cop would be better off. Now, I am trading in a lot of benefits because Francis gives us a, a mini version of Lester's Remove Cops ability from GTA Online. But you do eventually lose it. And the money you get is negligible. So, goodbye, Francis. I hope to see you in hell. All right, we got to get out of here. That's going to attract attention. All right, let's go, Nico. Ah, put the gun away. <laughs> Don't want the police to see the weapon we may or may not have. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to need to be uh, borrowing your cavalcade. I got to get out of here. You want to come along for the ride, sir? All right, no problem. Come along. All right, I'll let him out, though. Don't worry. Here, you can hop out now, sir. Why am I always such a <laughs> See ya. Yeah, Un unfortunately, like, I get GTA 4 is not meant to be a positive game. It's a very depressing, very dark GTA game. But that choice back there is really, really hard. It, it is, in my opinion, the hardest choice to make in the game. You can agree or disagree with that statement. I know there's some people that were like, Oh, well, that option's kind of easy if you just, you know, pick this option, you know, compared to actually, you know, doing the other one, but... For me, I'm a morality person. I care about the morals of everything, more or less. And bail. What up? Now, we're here shortly bon going to get a mission bon where we have to more or less defend the funeral. And, of course, that mission would change depending on who you killed, whether it be Francis or Derek. But that won't come up for a little while. But in the meantime, we need to go put a suit on. We got to... We gotta go look nice, or we gotta we gotta look somewhat decent. I don't think there's a phone call here, but I'll call Roman just in case. Hey, Roman. Hello, Nico. How's it going? Killed anyone recently? Now that you mention it. Shit, Andy, I was choking. Who was it this time? This drug dealer, Playboy X. Oh. He tried to get me to get rid of a friend of his for him, but uh, I like the friend better. Nico, shit. I hope this guy is paying you good for saving his ass. He just got out of prison and he hasn't got much, but I made the right decision. Ah, ah. Good, NB. I'll talk to you later on. Okay then. Well, I didn't think I was going to be able to get that phone call so late. But in the meantime, while we wait for that mission to go up, let's uh let's start up the next mission from Ray. Yeah, 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 sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil, listen, you know me, and I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. Yeah, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. You can tell Ray and Phil don't like each other too much. We got a problem. Who? You and me? Yeah. 
I got two options. Option one, you rip me off. Option two, Luca and his buddies rip this bolt off. Hey, hey! I left them with the stuff to bring to you as instructed. Maybe you're in on it. Maybe I am. But if you thought that, I wouldn't be standing here right now. He's right about that. You ain't as dumb as you look. Huh. Luca hangs out in Castle Gardens. Go see him. Go get my stuff back so everyone can get paid. Now. Right. Keep talking under your breath there, Ray. I can see your lips moving. Your lips flapping. All right, Luca, you motherfucker for taking those goddamn diamonds. It could have ended so much better for you if you weren't just the way you are. Get out of the way! I have places to go and things to see, and you are getting in my way. These Liberty City drivers, I tell you, man, like, they don't know how to drive. What are you looking at me for? I'm not breaking any traffic laws or anything like that. I am in the right lane. What are you talking about? Ventura's, baby. We'll be our own bosses. Luca, I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. I gave every one of those diamonds to Ray. Now, we all know that that's not true. Fuck you, you cabbage-eating prick. Who says it weren't you that made off with them? That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here. We gotta take this man's banshee. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I'll bring it back to you if I remember to. All right. Now, unfortunately, we gotta be careful when chasing these people, uh, chasing Luca and his crew, because unfortunately, this is a scripted car. Don't know if you guys could notice how you know scripted they're driving. But I can't shoot them, because if I blow them up too early, the mission will fail for some reason. And we gotta follow them with their scripted path they got. Alright. Come on, you fools. I ain't got time for this. You just need to crash and everything will be fine. Oh, ran right into him. Driving on the wrong side of the road, are we? Oh, don't worry. I'll catch up. These boys must forget that I'm in a Banshee, and this Banshee is going to catch up to any four-door sedan they drive. Hey! Well, right in the middle park they go. Bam! <laughs> Game. Do I not have my gun pulled out at all? Got him. I'm gonna clip you, then I'm gonna go clip Rabo fucking Chino. I'm sorry, you said what now? You said what now? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the sound of how fucking dead you are. Trying to talk to Nico like you can't kill me. Luca! Where the hell are you? Come out and we'll talk about this. Making things real hard on yourself. Look at him tuna and Johnny's cut. Come on. All right, Luca. I you warned you, man. Play for yourself, Jesus. I warned you, Luca. You should not have engaged with me. <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth, Nikki? All right. Let's get these diamonds back to Ray. 
I took out Lucas' crew, and I got your diamonds. What do you mean, you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're dead, and I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park. Gotta go meet Ray at that bridge in Middle Park. You know, before something terrible happens. Now, how far away is that from here? It's not that far. It's like it's like walking distance, and we get to appreciate GTA 4's visuals. Wow! Look at that. Look at those 2008 water graphics. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quit being a dick and pretending like the water graphics are anything to be impressed over. I mean, I like the way it handles in this game compared to GTA 5, but I mean, it ain't nothing special, special. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, jog, 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 jog onto the grass. We gotta climb up here, Nikki. Up on the rocks. Physics your way over. Climb. There we go. And let's give the stuff back to a Mr. Ray Bacino. Thanks, Nikki. I guess you never know who's gonna stab you in the back, huh? Thanks for the advice. <laughs> See you, Ray. Be safe, man. He's a slime ball, hey, but he pays. There's one last cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Obviously, we can't have a, we can't have Nico dressed like a bum in church. That's why I changed into a suit, man. Undertaker. All right then. Now that phone call and this mission will be drastically different, of course, depending on you know who you killed. You got a phone call from Hi, Kate. Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. But yeah, this mission and those phone calls would be drastically different. Of course, you know, depending on if you took out Jerry or Francis, you know, we took out Francis, obviously. You guys saw that. But this mission, of course, would also be drastically different. Just minor cutscene changes, you know, being from Jerry or Francis, dialogue changes. And it's actually kind of similar to the final missions in the game, obviously. But there's going to be a part of this mission that upturns, which would be kind of messed up. But uh, we'll worry about that when we get there. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. Obviously. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. You gotta feel bad mostly for the McCurry's Ma. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! <laughs> Have any damn respect? It's my own brother's funeral. There's more coming. 
Watch out, Nico! You damn disrespectful bastards! They are disrespectful bastards, ain't they? Shit, it looks like we got more of them coming! Man up, Nico! We are not this stupid ass! I am Packy. Calm down. They're all up on me. I don't reckon they could throw much more at us. I think we got them. Make a run for the cars. <coughs> Excuse me. Nico, all right. Find the wheel of that Romero. You, me, and my brother are getting out of here. Let's go, Packy. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Of course, Packy. No problem. Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother, too. Go easy there, Nico. I'll try to, but how the fuck did we lose the back door from, like, one bullet? That doesn't make any sense. The fuck, game. Right. Sorry, y'all. Gotta look, gotta get away from the Albanian hoods. No more, Nico. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you <laughs> suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart rather than for another piece of your anatomy, which ain't gonna get used, I might add. Ah. <sighs> Wow, I mean, All I can right. tell he's pretty We're tore up, man. Here. Let's bury this bastard. <laughs> wow. You can tell Packy's a lot more tore up than I thought he was going to be. Jesus. Sorely tore up. <sighs> well, at least they made it Thanks, in one Nico. piece. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. I'll give you a call, Kate. No problem. I'll definitely give you a call. Whoops. Almost ran right into him, didn't want to do that. Anyway, speaking of giving him calls, let me see if I can give her a call now. I'm curious. Well, let me actually hotwire this thing first. Game probably won't let me give her a call right away, but we'll try. Wow, she just has her phone completely off then. What? Well, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. I don't blame her for that. All right then, well, with that being said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I apologize again if it does seem a little bit short, but I kind of really just wanted to focus on this main portion for the episode. I uh, didn't really have, you know, too much else planned, but on the next part, we'll be trying to focus and hopefully get up to the point where we meet Jimmy Pecorino. I think we're getting close to that point anyway. We've only got a couple missions left for uh, Agent ULP, and I think we're only like one or two missions left with Ray. Could be wrong on that, but we should be getting close to that point. Um, or maybe I'm like way further off. Wait, who's this? Nico, Gerald McCreary here, calling from the Alden State Correctional Facility. Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. Come down. 
All right, well, looks like we got another Jerry mission to worry about, which is going to be fine for us, but we're going to have to save that for next time. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the generic craft the YouTubers try to do at the end of every single video here on YouTube. And I, Mr. Emo Raccoon, will see you guys next time. Peace.